what's up you guys it's Dorothy and welcome back to my channel in today's video we're gonna go into our next children's book this one is called I met a moose in Maine one day by Ed Shankman illustrated by Dave O'Neill so let's get right into this book I met a moose in Maine one day, just how it happened, I can't say. I brushed my teeth, I combed my hair, and all at once the moose was there. In Maine, as you know, the moose come and go, they relax in the streams, they make tracks in the snow, they live in the woods with the bear and the hare, and whatever they're doing, they do it out there. That is why, in this case, something seemed out of place to be here with a moose in my house, face to face. The moose was so big, so wide, and so tall, I was not sure at all he could squeeze through the hall. He tried to be small, and he made sure to crawl, but those antlers of his still left marks on the wall. I don't mean to suggest that the beast was a pest. In fact, I, I felt blessed just to have such a guest, because my... Because by any measure, the moose was a treasure. His smile was charming. His manners a pleasure. We shared a few laughs. We talked quite a lot. And he told me some things that I never forgot. Then we played hide and seek, but it was no use. It seems this is not the best game for a moose. And then after that, we decided to race, but a moose, when he runs, needs a great deal of space. He smashed every bottle and jar in the place, and when the napkins I had were too small for his face. So I took him outside, and we walked for a while until we reached town, which is more than a mile. If you want to meet friends and you need an excuse, I suggest that you walk into town with a moose. All the people we passed stopped to give their regards. They've learned from their when. They lean from their windows, they wave from their yards. Old men on their porches seem very impressed that a neighbor of theirs had a moose for a guest. At the general store, people's chins hit the floor when the moose and I casually walked through the door. I bought a few things that a moose never buys because everyone knows a moose loves a surprise. I bought him some fudge, a lumberjack hat, and some great maple syrup and boy he liked that because you know maple syrup's the best thing by far that's anyone's ever that anyone's ever put into a jar and the hat i must say was precisely his size in a blue that that i thought really brought out his eyes at night we went dancing we really let loose and there's nothing quite like letting loose with the moose we did a few things that a moose rarely does and if that sounds exciting believe me it was But this was just one little village in Maine. There were so many to see, so we hopped on a plane from Auburn to Belfast, from Friendship to Lee. That moose and I saw every sight we could see. We walked every walk and we viewed every view. And the moose and I, and the moose I met took me to Wall Wall of Grass too. And Cam. In Camden, a lot of us got on a yacht and we docked before dark in a beautiful spot. We saw fish having fun, we watched seals eating meals, we met lobsters and otters and eagles and eels. In Bangnor, we climbed on a raft made of logs, we floated down river with beavers and frogs. We hopped and we jumped and rocked and we rolled, and we rushed through the rapids like loggers of old. We stopped off in Portland on one beautiful day to eat a fine lunch in an outdoor cafe. We ordered the salmon with blueberry juice, and there's no better juice you can drink with a moose. We left room for dessert because we heard they had that they make the world's best selection of chocolate moose cake. When we had all our when we had all of our fun and our travel was done, we st stopped by the roadside and stood in the sun. I think we. We're somewhere near Smithfield or Rome when the moose I met said it was time to go home. He gave me a wink and I gave him a smile. We hugged and we said our goodbyes for a while. Then he went on his way, but he made sure to say that he knew he would come back and see me someday.
Now I know that my story may sound out of whack, even if I find it hard to believe looking back, but it wasn't a dream and it wasn't pretend. I did meet a moose and that moose is my friend. That is the end of this book. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.